Welcome to the Podness with Face, Pat, and Tiz. We go from such solid and, and just sound advice. To who? Damn, man. It looked like do you, do you, do you, do you, do you know what time it is? Uh, hey, do you know, know what time it is? Hey, do you know what time it is? Yeah, do you know? It happens to be 1128, Wednesday, February 16th. And oh, this year. And this happens to be the what the sixty fifth episode. Sis five. The sixty fifth episode of the Good and Fuckery. Oh shit! It's the Good Fuckery. That's the Get week. Oh. We're going to flip flop the, the good and fuckery. It's going to be the fuckery and the good because we're going to deal with all the fuckery first before we get into the good part, pretty much. <clears throat> we're going to start this fuckery with some good old fashioned hilarity. <clears throat> okay. Kevin Hart and Nick Cannon uh, prank run that they have going. Uh, Kevin Hart has said. Nick Cannon, a vending machine of condoms. Okay. <clears throat> and it almost got him in trouble. <laughs> almost got Nick Cannon in trouble. But, you know, it was the camel. What he said. <laughs> I think the cat is sick. Uh, Kevin Hart well, camel. Why would that get him in trouble, though? Uh, because the wife might be like, all right, so what are you doing out here in these streets? Where you gotta have a vending machine of condoms, you know. So, so he's paying for the condom, or it's like a vending machine where you just push the button and it's just coming out of it. And it pop right on out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. pop out. Yeah. Pull up and hit the wall. He might you know they got the swirly thing. We'll have baby number 15. Mm-hmm. Shit. He has That's a nine. Not an investment for him, actually. Mm-hmm. I mean, you I know, know nine is the earth single handedly, but damn. Nine is the highest level of change and um the the amount of members of the Wu Tang clan. So, you know. <laughs> All right. Well, uh from condoms that prevent baby to the baby versus the uncle. Wah, wah, wah. <clears throat> Oh, is this the, uh, the, the, the uh, bowling alley slip and slide fight? The bowling alley brawl versus the baby and the uncle. A lot of bees. <clears throat> this is the first of all example of why punk should not jump up to get beat down. Well, uh, it's been plenty throughout his career. It has plenty, been plenty of instances and um, fair warning to let y'all know that. Y'all should just leave the baby alone. Leave him alone. He's crazy. Leave leave him alone. And and, uh, I understand that um, this is um, Danny Lee's brother and everything. He feels like as the brother, he he, he has to defend her in some type of way, but not at the bowling alley. Not in the, the, what do you should think? The lane? Not in the bowling lane. First of all, you ain't going to get any kind of traction. And then it looked like if anybody got some traction, it was the baby because all I saw was the baby and ground and pound. Pause. Oh, it, was, it was a lot of ass whooping going on. I, I can and then it was, it was some <clears throat> ass kicking. And then that that footage that we saw, they said that was the third time that happened. So this is, was going on throughout the day with a marathon of just random. The baby versus the uncle act. I be out here getting your ass kicked uh, several times a day on that's, the Super Bowl weekend, man. sir. But you ought to be ashamed. It, it was like some type of event where he was there. He was actually on the flyer. It was like him. I'm not sure. I think they said Chris Brown. 
but him also and the baby and then I guess the uncle was like I want to post up and I'm going to wait till this nigga there and uh yeah, when you see a nigga at a paid event and he's a celebrity, you got to know, for one, he's definitely going to have security. For two, you don't run up on that nigga at that time. You leave him the fuck alone because his security is probably going to jump in because they on the clock right now. This ain't him and his boys just chilling and you caught him slacking and he might shoot you to fail when this is him at a paid event. Like, and it, it's like, that ain't the time. That, that ain't the smartest time a place to try to, like, this nigga, your brother-in-law, damn near nigga. Catch this nigga at the cookout. And I, um, this, matter of fact, uh, one of the baby's, like, security guards or whatever, uh, I actually went to school with him. His name is Kane. And he's a tall, big, <laughs> like, six-foot, like, dog. Like, you just don't oh, know. Uh, like a light-skinned Kimbo light slice. Dude. Yeah. I seen him yeah. before. Yeah, be like he went to the same high school pretty much. <laughs> and he was the same height then. <laughs> he might be a little bit taller now. I think he might have been a little bit chunky, but he's about the same height then the as chunk. he was now. Like. <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah, you just not that guy. Uh, no. What I will say is this. The baby has a team around him that is TTG trained to go like they mm -hmm. all converge and everybody played their part you had people helping people up you had people guiding people to stand up on the gutter hey if you stand right here you won't slide like you had people escort him out of the way after the first initial knockout blow like the shit was set up for failure for the brother that that, that rolled up on him like sit your ass down somewhere think about life courts and authorities handle mm -hmm. it Stay out of the people business. If he ain't hit your sister or something like that, like if he beating you on your sister, okay. But him putting your sister on Instagram because she's acting crazy or or he feels like she's acting crazy or whatever, that's not necessarily something that you need to be going to fisticuffs over. Especially if you uh to talk all this shit on the internet and then you get your ass whipped. Cause then you just look stupid. Yeah. Just look real don't stupid. get me don't don't get me wrong. I definitely don't promote putting your business out on social media, even though I said how much. I would actually do for 900 million. But I personally, not your personal, personal business, like like family business. I was so but these days, it's a, the wild, wild west, pretty much. So, yeah. 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 And leave the baby alone, man. Just leave him alone, man. That's a grown hey, man. Uh, <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> the one to fuck with. If we ain't learn nothing else, leave. Yeah. He ain't, that he ain't about none of that bullshit. He is about all of the action that he so mm -hmm. called like to be about. Leave him alone. Ever, yep. I, man, he has not changed. I, I, ever since he first came out, he's he's pretty, pretty much the same consistent baby. That's a grown man, though. That's a grown man. Just don't do that. <laughs> Just hey, don't. Look, I can tell you straight up. People like to test boundaries and shit. I ain't gonna say nobody knows for sure but i will say that once you didn't kill the man or you done seen bullets and shit go through flesh in a certain type of way leave that person alone mm -hmm. they, they're willing to take it somewhere you ain't even thought about going yet just leave him alone be the man alone. dude Mr. Alvo, just wanted to be famous real quick or just wanted to get his ass beat real quick. So there's no way you thought you was going to run up on him in any way possible. It was going to be anything but you getting jumped and getting your ass beat thoroughly yeah, by yourself. and publicly. I don't even care if you won't by yourself. If it was more, y'all, more people probably would have jumped in. <laughs> No, that nigga was saying that it was people there at the bowling alley that didn't even look like they trained with the baby. Like they was on different lanes, looked like they was with their uncle that came over there. And, and <laughs> so it was just like this nigga mm -hmm. had, like, like plants. It stands. Yeah, just mm -hmm. random people was situated mm -hmm. out of the bowling alley. Like, just in case some shit. You're not going to do that to the baby. Who the baby? To leave people the fuck alone. 
Like too many people be on the internet taunting other people. Yeah, you ain't gonna do it when I see you. Like, don't say it's on site if it's not on site. Because on site exactly. doesn't mean when I see you, we're gonna talk. On site means when you see me, you're gonna do something to That's me. It. Or Punch. if you already over you if you already told me it's on site. Now when I see you, I gotta do something to you before you do something to me because I know your intentions uh, are to do uh, something mm-hmm. to me. You feel me? So that's the mind frame these people in it got to realize. They're putting people in by their words. Words mean something. And when they have the necessary effect on the other person you're delivering these words to, don't be surprised by the reaction. Everybody's always so surprised by the reaction. Oh, I can't believe this person did this. What was the catalyst in that situation? Don't get mad at the reaction. The reaction is just. Mm-hmm. You can't get mad at somebody react how they react. You feel me? So what? I react ten times as much as I should. Oh well, you shouldn't have did shit. Period. This is true. That's your fault. And they yep. said the baby was trying not to do shit. They said the baby had like tried to walk away a couple of times. In the day. Exactly. So it's like, if I'm telling you, hey man, I ain't even trying to go there. Like, as a man, sense. as a man, I was always taught, and, and maybe this is just some old school shit that don't apply no more. But I was always taught, like as a man, like if you approach a man, man to man, and like, hey. What's good? I want I want that fade. If that man declines, like you gotta kind of like, hey, it is what it is. He don't want that fade. It, it ain't really what it is. Then you gotta have a conversation with that man. And mm-hmm. I don't know that you ever tried to have a conversation with that man. Like you don't just jump straight into whipping a nigga ass. Like I want to be. You ain't talking to that nigga. Got anything? You going off of like a very uh, uh internet clip and whatever your sister done said, which is gonna be. Completely her side. Second, yeah. I'm exactly. like, oh, get the yeah. whole story. And the bias. A lot of niggas that I don't that I know and I don't heard of that then jumped in some 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 domestic shit and ended up they end up being in the wrong because what they thought was happening mm-hmm. was the whole story. And then you end up looking mm-hmm. like then you got your ass whooped and it come out that the baby hadn't did nothing wrong. Now you look double dumb. <laughs> double dumb. <laughs> double dumb. Don't be double dumb. Stupid. Don't go full <laughs> retard. Don't go full retard. And don't go double dumb. Double dumb. Double dumb, man. I'm telling you. Dumb, dumb and dumber and double dumb. <laughs> dumb, da dumb, dumb. That's what it's going to be like. That's what you're going to hear if you keep uh, messing around with the baby. Dumb, da dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> uh, uh, shit. After that nigga killed that nigga in Walmart, nigga fucking with the baby is dumb, da dumb, dumb, dumb. Mm-hmm. Yes, leave that, leave that nigga alone. Please, dude, just leave him alone for your sake. He ain't backing down. If it's you and him, <laughs> he going on. Leave that man alone. What you want? What you want to know the fucked up thing about that whole story? Mm-hmm. Twenty four hours later. That section where they do that at people was rolling their shopping carts right through that area once again. Probably less than 24 hours. Cause Walmart ain't gonna stop moving. Hey, y- y'all done getting y'all pictures and y'all fingerprints? All right, cool. Clean up on aisle nine. Let me get this shit up. Let's go. <laughs> we got stock to put up. <laughs> Niggas need to get their cinnamon toast crunch. You know, and almond milk. You know, <laughs> ain't no death gonna stop that. Yo, breakfast. <laughs> I don't know what's happening in Virginia, or whether this is just a Georgia thing, or whether I'm just really, really, really late to the party. But did y'all know they giving folks uh like free EBT? Yeah, yeah. they've they been doing that shit. Okay, and yeah, they sent me in the first I was like, oh, all the- nigga, we went and got crab legs and all that shit. Yeah, I damn sure did. I sure did. It was money for food. I went and bought good food, and I didn't have money for groceries. Like I could have went and paid for everything I paid for tonight with hard with cash. I gotta look into that. But the government is willing to help its hardworking citizens, so why not let yeah, it help? It was free, and I ain't. I don't care. The woman gave me a card with sixteen hundred dollars worth of grocery money on it. Yep. I think I ain't swiped up. Nigga, what? Nigga, swipe. Crab legs, yeah. lobster cakes, 
Goddamn, we had a whole goddamn seafood brawl tonight. Mm-hmm. On, on, on thank Joe Ying did shit else. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate mm-hmm. it. Chicken, chicken. That is peasant food. I am eating royal quick. Nigga, I got quail tonight, nigga. I got hella impossible burgers. This is duck. <laughs> hella impossible burgers. I'm talking about I'm eating burgers till my, my fucking skin turned to burger. It's about to be burger on burger on burger. Like I'm talking about it, we got the snacks. It, it, it was a very good day. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good. Yeah. Look, it, look it's, at God. It's, it's more snaps where that came from, man. I'm about to I'm about to burn that fucking card up. We about to eat good. Damn right. But on on Joe. Thank you, Joe. Then we're going to cop. <laughs> I gotta look into this. Pull out, I'm about to, about to ask my uncle, hey man, let me hold the truck. I'm, to <laughs> I'm going to. We about to go Hamlet. We're not even <sighs> going to the regular boxes on grocery boxes store. On boxes, nigga. Every man, nigga, I'm coming out that bitch with a one of them uh, with a pallet jack. Is what I'm about to get for real. <laughs> Damn right, nigga. Deep freezer about to be stocked full. <laughs> I am going to Whole Foods. I'm not going to the regular peasant grocery store, Walmart. It's Walmart wasn't even a grocery store at first. Nothing with a generic name going in the back. Believe that. <laughs> Believe that. It, it's all name brand. The government wants me to eat well. Because <laughs> they saw, I'm going to. They see my income every year, my wife's income every year, and they still sent me that fucking card. Happen <laughs> with a letter attached, like here. This is all you got. Go ahead and activate it now. And you know me, I'm a nigga. So I, I I went straight to the telly and was like, let me, let me try this out on the uh, self check out. We going to Wegmans, <laughs> not Walmart. Make sure, Bush, make sure these niggas ain't send me no. Uh, it's an ID card, and I, I swipe that bitch. No, nothing happened. And then I can't mm-hmm. ass bath full of food. I'm looking stupid. <laughs> And then, you know, I, I'm put some shit in there that I ain't even really want. I just it was free, so fuck it. But uh, that's why like you go into self serve. And that shit came back with a balance. I was like, oh, I ain't never got a receipt with a balance. That that is new. I was, I was a kid and on food stamps. It was the, the paper. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Was the, the, the actual paper. The, the the other money. Big fit. Big you got your brown twenty. Boy. <laughs> Talking about, I got like all of the good apple sauces. I got fruit roll ups and shit. I mm. like it is it, is 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 a smorgasbord in that bitch. Smorgasbord. They got pistachios, and you know pistachios like six dollars a bag, seven dollars a bag anyway. But I got the high end pistachio, you know the, the nine dollar, ten dollar bag. Like, and throw that in there. Throw some D's on that bitch. They roasted these pistachios in the hills of Switzerland. I swiped it so proudly, and we rolled up out that bitch like, we did it, Joe! <laughs> Nigga, I was happy as hell. Like, oh, man, the government do love me. You got the fermented uh, pistachios. <laughs> that was dipped in wine. Good pistachios, boy. I want none of the I ate the whole bag. I'm talking about them, got them bitches at six o'clock, bag gone before we uh recorded tonight. Crush them. Is that great poupon? Oh yeah. <laughs> and we got the fancy almond butter. You know, the, the high end shit, you know. Shit you got to mix it up. You got the oil sitting on top there, you know. Oh man, I don't forgot what the hell we were talking about. <laughs> Yeah, we was in a good and fuckery somewhere. Shit. <laughs> oh yeah, we were in the good and fuckery, but that was good. Was it, that, was, it was some good shit to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was some good talk. Uh, uh, freak no, talk. that was good. With but black people out there, check your mailbox. Don't throw away everything. So one of them envelopes is for you. Open that bitch. <laughs> And I was, I black history. And I, I had put that shit on the dresser and it was about to go in the, oh yeah, there's some junk mail. About to go home. About to, about to throw that bitch right out. And then for some reason, I was about to iron some clothes. I ironed my son's school clothes and I looked and that the envelope just looked like it had some, some like a card. And I was like, I got no credit card I'm missing. I ain't got no debit card. 
no, no, you know, my all my shit accurate. My current, my shit current, but I ain't got no, no. The fuck is that? I got a card in there. Then I was like, oh, it's gonna be one of them stupid ass pharmacy cards. <laughs> you go up there, they'll be like, I don't know what the fuck this is. This is not. <laughs> uh, you still on five ninety five for the prescription? <laughs> you know, just bullshit. That motherfucker was a long letter with some activation instructions, and I can call that someone that bitch said, "Yeah." You get all the Flintstone vitamin pills. <laughs> if you're possible with this shit, I don't know this shit. I was like, y'all sent this to me. I was like. You know we filed taxes. Y'all seen what we make? And y'all sending us free shit? All right. Well, let's go burn this bitch up before they take it back. <laughs> no need to let them figure out they made a mistake. You know, my well, hey, you know, once we eat it, you know, we can't necessarily shit it. It back out and get it to them. You, know? you send me a letter with this shit. That seems very intentional. You took the time to print my name on this bitch. Check your man. Leg tonight. Yeah. Well, let's see if I how I'm gonna segue uh free food and crab legs into the next topic. Crab legs, crab legs, like king crab legs. They usually like like snow crab legs, snow crab legs, usually like in Russia. Um and the next topic is this uh Russian girl, um Camilla. <laughs> I'm gonna mess up this one too. Um, Belaiva, Belaiva, B A L I E V A. Hold on, say that one more time. B A L I E V A. Belavia, Bolivia, Belavia, Belaiva, Belaiva, Belaiva. Yeah, well, uh, Camilla's vagina, um, she failed her drug <laughs> test. Camilla's vagina? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, that is hilarious. Uh, comma, 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 chameleon balalova. <laughs> Let me stop. Um, she failed her drug test from, um, and she, uh, it looks like she was positive for performance enhancement drug. Why her why, excuse? What did she do? Hmm? Who is this woman? Um, about this Russian uh, ice skating. <laughs> okay, because I'm like, who? Uh, that, what are you talking about? Ice skating Winter Olympics or whatever. And it turns out they found out about it in December, but she's still in the competition. They're still investigating over it. And everything, and they say that if they find out that everything is true, she's not going to get uh, any type of trophy or anything like that, even if she did win or whatever. But nobody is getting a medal or any t- anything like that until they fully um, are over with with the case or whatever. That's, that's but. Not- um, Um, our sister Shakara Richardson says, uh, I would like to call bullshit uh, because who? Shakara Richardson. Remember her uh, last year in the, the um, Olympics? You said what? Said her first name by itself, slow. Shakari. Oh, okay. Richardson. Uh, the girl with the orange hair, she was running in the Olympics or whatever. She got caught positive with weed and everything. She said, hey, that's not a performance enhancement at all. And she wasn't able to compete. But this girl literally got performance enhancement drugs in her, test positive, and she's still performing. Oh, like some... uh. Privilege bullshit to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it looks like Russia is at it again in everything. Fuck <laughs> you, Putin. Much. Fuck Putin. 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 Putin.
Putin. Vladimir. Man. I feel like she has a point. I also feel like the but I don't know if the committees are different because um Winter Olympics supposed to summer Olympics, but there was one loophole they said that Camilla is actually like a minor. So even if she was to get caught positive with drug enhancement, um like drugs in her. She's not like she wouldn't get in trouble for it because she's just a minor, just uh, being um, told what to do, pretty much. So that's that one loophole. She's she full of shit, and just like she full of them. Yeah, dudes. yeah. Yeah, it's always a loophole and something. It's for some reason. Yes, it is. Yeah. Well, from finding. Finding drugs in people's systems to finding people in bushes. Uh, p- police called Kim Kardashian this morning. Uh, well, this is this morning, but it probably was a couple of days ago. But police called Kim Kardashian to warn her that she thought they thought Kanye West was disguised as a bush in front of her home. And there's actual <laughs> pictures of someone dressed as a bush in front of the home. <laughs> I'm not the one to like, you know, encourage Kanye shenanigans. But yeah, this is hilarious, B. <laughs> this, this, this is hilarious, yo. Like, I'm not the one to keep encouraging like his shenanigans. Because after a while, it's, to me, I feel like it's like, I think he's Sometimes causing his own problems, pretty much, or whatever. But when this stuff like this happens, this is hilarious. Uh, I'm I'm glad this happened. I'm glad it came across my news feed, so I decided to share it with y'all. No, oh, the, the, I wonder if on that genius or ye whatever that shit is on Netflix about him. Mm-hmm. If the episode is recorded by himself, and he is the bush. You see, I just wonder where he got where he got that costume from. Acme, same as, as Wally Coyoteism. You gotta send me the picture of this nigga as a bush. That uh, it's, <laughs> that it's on that link on in the in the docket. <laughs> it's, it's in the link in the docket. You want to take a look at it right quick? You just gotta scroll down or oh, whatever. <laughs> but. You can't really tell as hell, but it is somebody dressed as a bush. Not Jordan Bush. <laughs> <clears throat> Not Linda Bush. <laughs> hey, hell no, man. They don't get this Oscar <laughs> Grouch looking shit up out of here, man. <laughs> what in the hell? Like dead ass, it is a nigga in a bush costume running the fuck up. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> Oh no, they say it's it's fake, right? Oh no. Oh no. The cops will never oh no, it may be fake. It may be a fake story, y'all. Mm, okay. But damn, yo, well, whoever that is in that bush costume, that's pretty uh, oh, so. pretty fucking dope. Pretty damn good costume on me. But man, you don't get the hell out of here. Your big ass, whoever that is, running off. I don't make no sense. <laughs> but um I'm done. I I I can believe it. I believe it. I, I don't was- care if it's fake or not. People talk about fake news all the time. This is some fake news. I'm gonna believe it because it's hilarious to me. To me. It, it- and the bad, and the funny part about it is like if it is fake news, shame on them for posting it. If it ain't though, this is some Kanye shit to do. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. like, ass costume, like because that costume is it, it looks like it's worth like like so whoever rented it paid a nice little 
piece of bread. The shit looks look like a damn bush. I I, <laughs> I was not expecting. I, I'll put it this way: if if it's an if it's one of his uh, outfits, one of his Yeezy outfits that he's selling along with them boots, I believe in it. I believe it. I believe it. Even if this ain't true and he still does it, stalker edition. It'd be like a a flight jacket covered in leaves. Yeah, that 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 is exactly what he would do too. I can see that out there looking like a guy, like he in a deer blind. Exactly. Oh man, did the fuckery just get worse though? Um, so uh, a FedEx worker is going to be on paid leave because after being shot by two white men. Um, and the white men are facing criminal charges after a black uh, FedEx Express driver alleged that he was chased and shot at while delivering packages at Brookhaven, Mississippi. Uh, well, when you uh, say Mississippi, Mississippi, that kind of tells us uh, why. Mm-hmm. Mississippi. And if you um, looking at the length of beard on these white men's faces. Uh, they look like one of them <laughs> mountains. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I believe it. Definitely some time to give him shit. This other dude, the, the one, the, the white dude with the white beard, he kind of looked like, like Colonel Sanders in the face. Like, I would. literally. You know what? Um, Pod, squad, y'all gonna have to give me a second. I gotta go get me a piece of chicken. You done made me hungry. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> but he look like Colonel Hell Sanders no. for real. Hell no. <laughs> the, the other dude looked like the other dude looked like one of the Wyatt family or something from WWE when uh-huh. with the beard and everything. Accurate, so, accurate but, description. Gregory Charles Case, age 58. That's the guy that looked like Karen, um, like Colonel Sanders. And the guy that mm-hmm. looked like he's in the Wyatt family is Brandon Case. He's 35. And he looks, he looks 35. Because white men in their 30s look like they're in their 50s. And white men in their 50s look like they're in their 70s sometimes. Not all the time. Now, if they're rich and they get the Botox and, and everything, you know, they, yeah, they, if they're rich and everything, they, they you know, great. They try to look down forever. Ryan Gosling and whatnot, Matt Damon, <laughs> whatever the, <laughs> whoever the fuck looks like. <laughs> like a, uh, what the fuck is the nigga name? Johnny Ryan, Depp and Matt Damon. Jack Sparrow and shit. <laughs> what not they, they got good careers like good acting careers or whatever they look like they the same age forever but mm-hmm. after that acting career is gone and the drugs start kicking in or whatever that's when all the age starts showing up um, pretty much uh, <laughs> oh man yeah no Mm-mm. I'm just talking shit until he gets his chicken back. Uh, his chicken, I hate you, bro. Get it heated up, devour it, and come back like, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Thanks, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the free chicken. Damn right. Mm-hmm. Don't give it up. If you're giving out free food and it's good food, there ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna take it. I'm tell you right now, I I would I'm not, I'm not for the simple fact that Walmart is not 24 hours anymore. I'm going to all the high class places like the fresh market, the whole foods, whatever. And I, I'm not even one of those extra, you know. Stay healthy, motherfucker. You know, which I probably should, because uh, I had to 
paid him a check the other day. Yeah, <laughs> you old, if they were smart. Now, if they were smart, now you know how they get all these, uh, like a lot of people on the side of the roads that sell their own fresh produce they grow. Mm-hmm. If they smart, they would have cell phones with a little app and a little adapter that allow people to use their EBT cards so they can buy fresh produce from them out there. Mm. And still get money. That's good. You gotta Who tap you? into the game, baby. Tap into the game. Hey, say <laughs> chicken is good, ain't it? That shit disappearing <laughs> like a motherfucker. Chicken is good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see no skin. It was it was it was invisible. It was I ain't see no chicken. All I seen was a damn bone. Yeah, it's just like an X-ray. Shit, this nigga hitting the Thanos on them goddamn chickens. One, two, three, done. One, two. This whole Man, side bro. right here. He he looked at the chicken plate and like look at this whole side here for devour. Man, this should be great. I got a little surf and turf with the poultry, you know, I got a little lobster, <laughs> a couple crab legs and you know, a little piece of chicken. Ain't got no, ain't got no shrimp in there, man. Yo, I believe you. I believe you. Oh yeah, that's we got the shrimp in the freezer. I believe you. I believe you got that card, dog. Cause you been, <laughs> you had the fruit roll up. <laughs> oh, you thought I was playing, nigga? I'm dead ass man. I don't play about no money. No, no, I don't play with no food either, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Let me put this shit back real quick, man. I got this calamari. <laughs> Where we at? What, what was y'all talking about when I came back? Oh man, um, FedEx the driver. FedEx dude—he looked like Colonel Sanders. Uh, we stated his name and everything, um, but fuck them. <laughs> and I'm laughing, so I want to get into the good stuff because I like the good stuff. Um, get into it, then, man. Oh, all right. Uh, y'all seen that Black Adam trailer? Like the new DC trailers and stuff like that. It, it looks pretty good. Where would it's, I see? Where are people seeing trailers at these days? YouTube. Oh, okay. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, I don't have no yeah. pop up on my feed that be like, oh, this trailer. Like, I found it out about them. You. What trailer are we talking about? Black, uh, Black Adam, the DC uh, Universe trailer or whatever. Word. They had some of Batman, some of Flash, whatever. Mm-hmm. And then there was a couple of other characters I didn't expect, like Pierce Bronson being Dr. Fate, which is like their ben, who? Uh, answer. Pierce Bronson. Um, Pierce Bronson. What is his name? Ben, Dr. Dr. Fate. Dr. Know. Fate. Dr. Fate is, I would say, DC's answer to Dr. Strange, but he was out before Doctor Strange, pretty much. Got it. But um, so he was another character that uh, Marvel kind of ripped off of DC, and then maybe they- yeah, the Marvel and DC have a a history of them ripping off each other. You know, yep. the character Lobo is a rip off of Wolverine. Deadpool is a rip off of Deathstroke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah. But I was just like shocked that they had Dr. Fate up there. But it looks pretty good. I'm actually curious to see where they're going, like where The Rock is going to go with Black Adam. Because I know it's going to be like action with it or whatever. But yeah, because they're supposed to meet up against Shazam or some shit like that. Mm hmm. Eventually. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've been trying to pay attention. You know, this is my question. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now I know it's a lot of comic book stuff. Well, all of this comic book stuff. You feel me? But mm-hmm. my thing is, why don't either the DC or Marvel universe currently, like right now, make up a brand new motherfucking character and introduce them in one of these movies 
and develop him. You feel me? And then give him a comic book and build a fan base off that because I feel like <clears throat> in tune now, like people in tune now and in, in tune and watching because they like the movies and they have a, a background base in comic books and they finally get to see they they childhood heroes and childhood comic books that actually look good on the screen now. You feel me? Like the, the movies yeah. look good. But to put somebody like brand new, they never seen it, and watch this person develop. Like, who is this motherfucker? Ain't no comic book. Like, you going, you looking for this motherfucker through comic book? Like, who the fuck is this nigga? I've never seen this motherfucker. And you feel me? Like, he's doing this, this uh, new shit, and he's building movie. You feel me? He build a franchise around this motherfucker. I feel like because of cool shit. Mm-hmm. I would say most of anything new these days. I would say the main reason why that doesn't happen is because. If you think about it, the only reason why the characters we know are good characters is because they have pretty much like 50 years of writing and 50 years of fuck ups so that they know what works and what doesn't work. Mm-hmm. I feel you. A new wow. character, <clears throat> a new character off the blue, we don't know if that's going to work. We don't know if it's going to offend nobody. We don't know if it's going to encourage some people. We don't know. What is going to work? We don't know if it's just a gimmicky. I got the character right now. I got the perfect character. He's that motherfucker. He, he's an old school. He, he's the old school superhero that offends everyone, but still gets the job done. <laughs> Get out the way, nigger. Got to help you out. <laughs> oh, no, they got that. It's called Peacemaker. It's on HBO Max, and it's starring John Cena. Uh, it's actually a pretty good show, even though it's John Cena. And um, yeah, they got it up there. John Cena is peacemaker up there. His dad is a white supremacist, and eventually they and there's an alien invasion involved. And um, yeah, it's actually a pretty good. So surprisingly my question, good. My question to that series is that timeline for that movie set before or after the timeline of Suicide Squad two. After Suicide Squad too. It's okay, right so, after. It's so immediately he after. So he didn't mm-hmm. die when they said yeah, when and, they, like and they they explain why. He did. Okay. Okay. Cool. But it's surprising. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to be entertaining. Because I was like, "What? It's a show?" I was like, "How the fuck they got a show?" When I watch this nigga get, you feel me? But if they can explain it. I fuck it's, with it. Like, it's, I'm, it's, fuck with. I'm not even gonna lie. It's weird as fuck, and it seems like it intentionally tries to offend or whatever to show, like it's like a sarcastic thing. Like they like he, John Cena intentionally, basically, acts as a douchebag or whatever because it shows how much. His father has turned him into this douchebag, but he's trying to be a good person or whatever. Like he say stuff, like he say compliments that are like could be back, yeah, backhand compliments or whatever. Like, like understandable. Yeah. So, but he thinks it's a good compliment, but you, you know how that ignorant goes. But it's actually a good. It's weird. It's weird as heck. And I think if it wasn't for it, if it wasn't weird, then it wouldn't be a good show. Pretty much. So, yeah. I get you that too. And then the, the same guy that did Guardians of the Galaxy and Suicide Squad, James Gunn, mm-hmm. he also did, he wrote that whole script. So that's probably okay. why it's good. He's good at making weird shit be serious. Okay. Do we go there? Well, see if James Gunn can redo Homeboys in Outer Space and make that into something real good. I think he could do that. I, think, I would, be, I would believe it so. Yeah, but um, I give him a shot. More James Gunn for something James is pretty dope. Yeah, he is. He's 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 kind of Quentin Tarantino esque, somewhat, but his own style to it, like. It's oh, it fits whatever he actually trying to put across or whatever. Right? It, it seems more new age or whatever or whatnot. No, I want to see. Mm-hmm. I want to see a Quentin Tarantino space movie. 
I can see that. I would. It'll probably still be. You know everything though, so I'm by fifth. <clears throat> yeah, it, it'd probably be like Fifth Element esque versus like some type of Western type thing, like like space Western. I'm intrigued. Ah, fuck with it. <clears throat> ah, fuck with it. I am. Ah, fuck with it. I'm the baddest motherfucker in the galaxy. Prove it. <clears throat> that type shit. <laughs> I fuck with it, but then again, never know. But we talking like there's a real movie coming out. Yeah, true. Um, one real movie I'm kind of excited for is the next is Doctor Strange because they put out the new um trailer and um I heard Patrick Stewart's voice in the background. So what I said is true. Professor X is in it. He's in it. If y'all get a chance. I put the the um the link on the trailer. I mean, uh, the link in the of the trailer on the docket. Mm-hmm. I saw and uh, it's uh, an Illuminati thing coming out. Yeah, yeah. It's this um, Illuminati is this group of like extra smart people on Earth, and they have this mindset that if we all would have gave each other some type of knowledge we could prevent it a whole lot of stuff the, i think the it was like a a scroll cree roar or some shit and it got a little too close to earth and they figured if they put their resources together they could prevent it and that's what they call illuminati and it's like reed richards um professor x uh, dr strange uh that's another smart Black Panther, but he wasn't really for it at first. He said, if this is a dumbass <laughs> idea. Shaw in it too? Nah, nah, that's, that's, hellfire. that's, that's hellfire. They, the, they act like the Illuminati that we think Jay-Z and them is, is <laughs> signed to pretty much. Got it. So we know that's some bullshit. That's, that's how they act. This Illuminati is like they're trying to prevent stuff. They're just extra super smart people on Earth. Bad. And um, Namor the <laughs> Submariner. And I think that was one of the reasons why Black Panther didn't really want to be a part of it because Namor was in it and they got beef. Namor and Black Panther had beef. Yeah. One mm-hmm. of them. So, but it looks crazy. I saw a zombified version of like Doctor Strange with all these arms at the end um, or whatever. Uh, there's like these Ultrons. There's Doctor Strange is like putting these technical handcuffs or whatever and brought in front of the Illuminati or whatever. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of shit going on. I'm, I'm going to see what happens next. I'm actually pretty excited about this movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to know if all the, the rumors is going to be true, but I, I really feel like the Illuminati is probably going to be Reed Richards, and we know it's Professor X in it and whatnot, but I'm still guessing who the other people are, because it can't have the Black Panther, because Marion of Kane. That could be true. Be true. I know Baron Mordo is involved, or something in it, but... <clears throat> I'll be a bad guy again. If I get any um, leaks or any ideas of who it is, I'll let y'all know, of course. But, yeah. Yeah. Please, please. And when is this movie? Um, May. Okay. May 2022. May 2022. Um, so, the end of Good and Fuckery Off, we're going to we're gonna start off with a little West Coast action, pretty much. First off, Snoop Dogg is the owner of Death Row Records. Yes, he is. Just in time to drop his new album that <laughs> dropped that Friday back on Death Row. <laughs> right before Super Bowl weekend. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he had a hell of a marketing strategy. His rollout was decent. That was one hell of a rollout, man. And then... And then the Super Bowl halftime show. It got Super a bit Bowl halftime show I have ever seen in my life personally. Like it may have yes. been <clears throat> cool I was born or something, but as far as the ones I've seen since I've been born, best one I've seen in 38 years. Like that shit was fire. 
The only <laughs> ones I can think of that can top it is uh Janet, Nip Slip, Michael Jackson in all white smoke, and uh Prince playing Purple Rain in the rain. That's the only mm. other ones I can think of. I'll go with you on the Michael and the Prince. I don't know about the, the Janet ain't it was larger as far as the notoriety from it. But like yeah. it was the actual half <clears throat> It wasn't better. Oh no, this was ultimately a better show. No, no malfunctions. They can do with technology now so that the live show <clears throat> is crazy as hell live, but it also ties into what you're seeing on the screen visually. Like the way they mm-hmm. make Dr. Trey come up from that digital whatever. Now you feel like you did. That shit was hard. That shit was yeah. fucking hard. <laughs> that the gold that right nigga, the golden lords. Oh, oh I was getting to that. Oh, yeah. I was getting to that. It's like Snoop and Dre come out, and then go, go, Fat 50 Cent come out. Man, they begin on 50 Cent. <laughs> 50 Cent. Call it. It's definitely been hitting them for it, for sure. For yeah, sure. He, they, had, they had the fat dude looking like Hamburglar. <laughs> he got that even star, too. He got that free 1600. True, true. But I didn't even expect him to, I didn't even think he was I didn't, they didn't say he was going to be in it. I think he was just a surprise or whatever. But at the same time, that's free promo for all his shows that he got coming out. Indeed. Indeed. It's a lot of big business going on. Then Mary J. Mary J. finally getting the check. Legend crush. She hit her, She hit the, uh, the, the Mary shoulders one time for him. You know, she had to, <laughs> just seeing Mary hit the Mary bop on, on, at the halftime. Uh, the Super Bowl just it was just everything for me. I don't know why, but that just just that move there. Oh man, come on. And I'm glad she got a, she's getting the check because she I saw some article saying that she'd been broke since that divorce or whatever. So I, I don't know what she considers broke. I mean, her I broke may be a bit different. <clears throat> broke might be our broke 300 million to like now I got like 110. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, she was looking good that night, and then yeah, Golden Lords came out, and well, I'm I'm gonna tell you, Kendrick stole the show to me. Kendrick, that was it. I was good. and I was a Hamptonian who <laughs> photographed that uh thing that uh that, okay. that part of the show. So oh shit, definitely uh, loving that. Yo, Kendrick, it, he knows how to perform. I don't know what it is. He gets into that mode or whatever where he's just part of the art and he just get in that mode, man. And the halftime show was black as fuck, man. Let's just call it what yeah. it was. That shit was black <laughs> as fuck. And I loved every minute of it. It was so even when the white boy came out. Like the white boy had to do some black shit. It yeah, like, he did. Fuck. Gotta move me to Neil. Let me go ahead and get my shit on. Make sure you And y'all. not only that. Big ups to Anderson Pock in the background on the drums, killing it. Boy, Anderson, <laughs> y'all, that is the happiest man on earth. <laughs> I've <laughs> never seen anybody that smiles all the time. Like, you never see him upset. Like, when never. that nigga is pissed off at somebody, he's probably like, yeah, man, fuck you. Yeah, even oh, even on, uh... I'm going to stab you now. Like, oh, that nigga smart. is happy all the time. Like, he has the most exuberant joy. Like he got that joy that like he light up the whole stadium. Like, hey everybody, y'all gonna be happy now just because I'm so happy. Look at me. Just like in that song, when he even in that song where he said, This bitch got me paying the rent. In the video, he was looking happy saying it too. <laughs> I'm gonna die. The happiest. And he did my <clears throat> if you ever wanted to see what Happiness looked like personified, brother. Pop. But I will say, I will say, I just like the fact Dr. Dre is he put up, he let, he basically um, had. What am I trying to say? I got a frog in my throat. I probably need to call first before I can get this thought out. Wait one second. I'm gonna put. But he basically showed how much he is has gotten all these artists out pretty much like yeah. everybody had their little moment of shine in it yeah. pretty much like his res that's like his resume his resume is impeccable that super bowl show was impeccable 
Yo, I, I would say the only thing that could have made it better was if during California Love, they had a Pac hologram just bust out it. As soon as I step mm-hmm. on the street, like that stadium would have broken down from the like seismic activity. Mm-hmm. Like it would have been a wrap. Yeah. And uh, his piano skills is dope. He got some piano skills like love. Yeah. And uh, some, somewhere in the stands, somewhere in the stands, Jay Z was reciting his <laughs> his his song that he wrote <laughs> for Dodge Drum. Oh, look at him right. Look at him rapping my shit. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Those writers, oh, those writers. And somewhere in America, somebody decided to write an obvious uh, report on Snoop Dogg's behavior pregame of on a New York Post of. Him, um, Snoop Dogg was seen smoking before his performance. Well, Snoop Dogg is seen smoking everywhere. So, in other at words, this point, at this point, if you still thought that was enough of a story to write up, something is wrong with you and your journalist. Like, in, in other news, water listen, is wet. Right. Like, get the fuck out of here. That's all he does. That is why Snoop is famous because he's the uncle that's always high and smoking reefer. In weird places that nobody else can smoke reefer, but he can. Like, he's the one person that will show up in a non-smoker's house. They have never smoked ever and would never smoke. But as soon as Snoop comes in, oh, man, I hit it one time. Come on, you can smoke in here. It's all good. It's Snoop. It's all good Snoop. But he was living in his room. That nigga had. I dare just. Snoop was so happy. He was like, these niggas is in my home town. Exactly. Exactly. Um, also, um, I hope all of y'all were safe out there because they said uh, California is real nowadays. So people just were getting round up on and and robbed. But luckily, I didn't hear any reports of that. Just that one uncle that Muggy, got beat up Muggy by the baby. Is that a new thing? Mugging is back now? We're doing that again? Mugging. And the 20 Man, for the past... Man, for the past couple of months, I've been hearing. I even heard the police say, "Hey, if you're coming to Los Angeles, be safe. They're doing this shit in broad daylight." Well, like then, the police is warning people. <clears throat> like, well, yeah, people, so out there in LA, please be safe. Ice T mm-hmm. even said, "All you rappers coming for Super Bowl weekend, please be safe," because. They're not playing no games out here. Every time there's a bit, somebody in LA is saying, "Hey, watch your ass." Watch Some type of way. <clears throat> well, it I seems like I man. ended up the good and fuckery with some fuckery anyway. After we said the good, but and yeah, the fuckery, the good, the fuckery, and the good, and then the more fuckery. They interchangeable. And um, the good and a whole lot of fuckery, whole lot of fuckery. Um, oh, okay. And uh, with that being said, let's get, that takes us to this week's tears take. Now, this tears take is 